This is white Meadland ground cover rose. And um, this is my favorite carpet rose. Uh, the roses on this are just beautiful. When you look at them, they have a huge petal count. You see how full those flowers are? And uh, great for cutting, too. What happens is you get these long stems. If you look at this one over here, you see how that's on a longer stem? So I use these for cutting quite a bit um, because you get this flower cluster of anywhere from three to ten flowers on the end of a stem and uh, they're just ideal for taking inside. So what I love about this plant also is the foliage is nice deep green. It just looks really healthy. When you compare this to other carpet style roses, um, this one for me is just head uh, head and shoulders above the others because the foliage is so nice and the petal count and the look of the flowers is just beautiful. Um, here a designer has used these in mass in a center island. I'm going to show you some other video of um, how these look when they're finishing. Here's the downside to this plant. Uh, when they're finishing, they look really dirty. Uh, these flower petals stay on the plant, and um, until you clean them off, uh, they're not going to look so good. This, uh, this area is on spray irrigation, and that's going to multiply the issue for you because the uh, water, overhead water on these petals is going to turn them brown as soon as they're the least bit done. And then, as you can see here, it's hard to get them off. So uh, you can spray these. I've got them on spray at my house, but just know that um, as the petals start to fade, uh, they're gonna they're harder to clean off and uh, and release. But there's a video on deadheading this plant and cleaning it up and pruning it, so you can check that out too. Uh, for me, that's not a big enough downside to uh, keep me from using this plant. I use it quite a bit and uh, highly recommend it. Spacing, they've really overdone it here. This is a designer that's not familiar with this plant. They've got these things, wow, it looks like 18 inches on center, if that. Uh, you can easily put these four feet on center and they'll fill in no problem. Uh, also, I like to deadhead these and prune them at the same time. So again, that's in another video, but point being, I like to keep them at about 16 to 18 inches high. And um, now they will reach taller than that. I've never let them get a whole lot taller than two and a half feet, but I suspect if you just let them go, they could easily reach three to four feet because they mound up. And that is white meadling. Oh, and the other thing is, is not deer resistant. Carpet roses and roses in general are not deer resistant. Water, uh, they like regular water and they also like regular feeding. If you want to get the, the most out of the bloom cycle, uh, give these a regular feeding with a rose or perennial type food. And um, also with some nitrogen in there to keep the uh, foliage looking good. The other thing that's nice too is it uh, doesn't really get disease. Even with overhead watering in my yard, um, I don't get any disease issues. I don't get black spot, mildew, or rust. So um, most carpet type roses are very res uh, disease resistant, which makes them even more appealing. And that's it for white Meadland ground cover. This is uh, rose white Meadland ground cover used in too tight of an area. This designer uh, was a little overly optimistic and um, I do not recommend using this plant in less than three feet of space. It will drive the maintenance person crazy and uh, it will always be pushing out into the edges. So if you're gonna use this, give it the space it needs to look right so that they don't have to do this to them. Um, that's just crazy right there. That's about 12 inches wide. That should have been switched to a different plant. So spacing, give white meadland ground cover, and for that matter, any ground cover rose a minimum of three feet wide.